Okay, so let's talk about uh, some of the atrial rhythms really quickly here. What we'll talk about first is uh, sinus rhythm. So a sinus rhythm, as you can see here, you're going to have your P wave, your Q, your R, your S, and your T. Okay, so we know that the P wave is indicating that this is originating from the sinoatrial node, from the sinus uh, node, and then our QRS is, of course, the ventricular depolarization with the T being the ventricular repolarization. Okay, so what we're going to see with our atrial uh, arrhythmias is we're going to see changes with our um, P wave. Okay, because P wave is, is telling us that where the uh, atria are uh, a beat is originating. Okay, so here we have sinus rhythm, heart rate is 72, um, just basic normal sinus rhythm. So let's just go to sinus tack really quick. What you'll see with sinus tack is you'll see that you still have your P wave and your QRS and your T. It's just that the rate is faster. You usually be uh, under 150 or so. Okay, so that's going to be your sinus tachycardia. All right, so really quickly, let's do uh, atrial flutter. So what's happening with atrial flutter is that we're having, if you notice here, it looks like we have multiple P waves. Okay, these are going to be sawtooth waves is the best way to uh, kind of explain that. And what can happen with uh, atrial flutter is that we have a uh, atrial rate 250 to 350 beats, just very, very fast atrial rate. And we're getting, what's happening is we're having this re-entry uh, in, in one specific area of the atria. So you're, you're going to have this continual um, beat originating from the atria from the same location, as opposed to atrial fibrillation um, is going to be very chaotic uh, electrical activity in the atria. So you're going to have all these, there's no definite P wave, but you're going to have all these fibrillation waves, okay? It's just going to be very, very teeny tiny fibrillatory waves, the best way to say it, um, and there's just no defined P wave. Again, like we said, when we're talking atrial arrhythmias, we're talking about P wave abnormalities, okay? Because P wave is, is atrial depolarization, and so we're going to see this happening in the uh, atria which is gonna coincide with our P wave. And so specifically with the uh, fibrillation, we're having very chaotic um, electrical activity in the atria, and so there is no defined P wave. Okay, that's just some of the atrial arrhythmias. Hope that helps.